Hey guys, we made Hello. it. Hello. People in here yet? Yeah, it, it looks like it. It looks like it. Thanks for Yay. coming. Yay. Okay, Thank so you guys. I'm, thanks for coming over to my house. Welcome to my house. Oh, yeah. Yes, I love that song. I do too. I want to play music on my channel. Why can't I play music? It makes me so mad. Okay. I'm trying to go to put. I don't know how to do that. Um, well, Allie made my thing, but I don't know. if. Well, I know that you I... get in trouble. They always... Yeah, you get in trouble, don't you? Yes. But somebody said, oh, yeah, you can get um, copyright music. Well, how do cool. all these other people play music? I know. So why can't I play? I don't get I it. I don't know. I'd Whatever. probably be taking oh, yeah, um, copyright music. Well, how did all these other Hold on, wait. I'm music. there. Okay, Tia, I'm gonna add you to um as a mod because I don't have any moderators on here. Wait, I must put you in timeout, but I meant to do that. Okay. All right. Where I'm just waiting for Allie, but she's not here. So marvelous, Marvin's here. That's whose channel um, I mod for. Marvelous Investigates. Yes. You guys, I really, um, I've checked out all these new channels that everybody's telling me about. And it, it, I love it. I love it. I didn't, you know, I realized that there's more channels, but when you stick and you're so used to sticking to certain channels, you really don't know how to, go out and explore and there's so many so many channels out there and i'm so glad that i'm getting all these new ones because the ones that i've gotten that checking convictions uh, i mean they're just great well yes i haven't i have to look yes. go watch checking, uh, checking convictions marvelous investigates is um one of the people i went to um is it? It's kind of dope. Hang on, my. Hold on. Let me. I know. Mute. So why can't? I... Okay. Is one of the people I have. Oh, here, Allie. Is one of the people I went to dump by with um, a couple weeks ago. And then we're going to go back to Delphi in a couple oh, again. I would. You know, Indiana, there's some shady stuff going on in Indiana. <laughs> well, Carroll County is, in my opinion, which is where the Delphi thing happened. Um, yeah, it's, it is. How far is uh, Carroll County from West Lafayette, Indiana? Um, it's. Uh, I'm pretty sure West Lafayette is part of Carroll County. Well, that's where that one girl that nobody's talking about was killed in 2000 and what was it, 2007 or 19 or 2017, something like that. Her name was uh, Nicole Bowen. Nicole Bowen. I haven't even looked into that. Um, I mean, yeah, I didn't know anything about it until like I was research researching this and there's more too. There's been some since her. It uh, makes you wonder what's going on. Allison, do you Allison, have, do you have an, an extra, well, it might be me, an extra tab open or something? Mm, no. I don't, well, wait a minute. Let me, okay, hold on. I, yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, is that better? Can you guys hear? Uh, hear? Is that better, guys? Sorry, I had like six open. And if we just try to remember to mute when the other people are talking. Yeah, just let's mute in between. Okay. Yes. That Kurtz killed her. Yes, Kathy. Oh, Kur oh yes, her. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Out in the trailer. Okay. I'm going to mute. Is Allie on? Okay. I'm going to mute so Allie can say hi to everybody. Okay. Allie is going to also let me know, Allie, when you're going to, you want to share. And then toward the end, I will uh, show some video I went to when I was in Delphi. Um, I will share that video, which changed my entire um, thought process of 
where I think the girls were killed, where my whole, everything's changed. I don't, my whole, everything I thought about Delta, Delphi has changed since I went to where I went when I was there. So, okay. I have okay. to unmute on that one because I cannot wait to hear your thoughts on that. I really can't because that's what I've been waiting for. <laughs> Cause you said something in the comments one day about it. So everybody wait until the end because I will go, I wasn't going to share it tonight. I was going to wait till to debut it when I, when I do my stuff on, um, I think it's May 11th, but, um, but I will well, share some of staff, it. Staff. Yeah. We can actually, we don't, I mean, if you want to, we can do it May 11th, but, um, if anything else comes out, you know, with it, another, you know, update or whatever, we can do another one, but, and we can do, you know, tonight, share tonight, and you can do more on the 11th too, because we'll yes. probably be doing it on your channel if my internet's not fixed anyway. We'll figure it out. Yes, I'm going to do a big one um, on my channel, but I will share tonight some of this stuff. Um, Mar Marvelous Marvin is in here, so I would like, so um, I think she would be good now that she's in here too, because she was there. Um, and okay, Marvelous, thank you. Um, um, and she, she went, went on the other side the of the bridge. Um, she actually went across the bridge. I don't have the kahunas to do that because it's scary as hell, but she did. So, um, I, but I'm going to let Allie show um, what she wanted to share tonight. So I will let her do her thing. And then at the end, I will show you what I did, which was kind of out of my character, but I did do it and I went and I'm glad I did it, but it changed everything I thought about Delphi. Okay. Go for it, Allie. Um, okay. Well, actually I will tell you this. I, I didn't, I don't have a um, messenger on my laptop. Like I'm not logged into it. So I'd log back in on my phone. Um, I can tell you the just that video that I was just going to play like some of the new news releases that have came out like the news has covered some of the new updates and just kind of pause along the way. Do you want me to. I could probably log I can log out and come back on my computer, but that'll take about five minutes or I can send you the link to that one Good Morning America video that we were talking about right before. Um, it's up to you, though. Just. Let me know. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking, I was thinking since we were coming back on your channel that you would just share the screen. Uh, but yeah, so you got this one. Minute. Hello. Did I lose signal or something? Can you guys hear me? No, I'm here. I'm just waiting. I muted so you could talk. Oh, Where's, huh. oh, Steph is muted. Yeah. So, um, do you guys want me to come back on my laptop or is Steph going to me to send you a couple links? We can wait. We've waited an hour. <laughs> it's whatever, whatever the chat wants to do. Okay, because I didn't really have anything super special. It was just, you know. Well, then... Steph, can, does Steph know how to screen share? Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe she could just share that. Because she's going to share a whole bunch. She said she was going to share stuff anyway. Yeah, we could just do that. Every yeah. Um, but where did she go? I, didn't know. I don't know. She, it's showing she's <laughs> muted. Hmm. <laughs> can, can you put in the chat and ask her where she is? I don't want to get off of this on my phone or I'll <laughs> lose you guys. Hold on one second. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, checking conviction said she couldn't hear Allie. They didn't hear oh, I said checking convictions um, said she couldn't hear you. Oh, I can't. But I hear you. Huh. Kathy can hear you, so okay. Uh, Allie, she says your um, volume's low. Uh, <laughs> I 
Okay. Um, well, let me just wait for me to come back. I'm kind of yelling, so you guys can hear me a little better. And I'll probably get up and come back on my computer unless Steph is going to show her stuff. Let's see what she's going to do. Allison, you yeah. tell us, to hold us over. What do you, what do you do? Like, do you have any questions in mind? Or what is your opinion on what's kind of happening right now, unfolding? Oh my gosh, I'm on mute. Well, no wonder you all weren't <laughs> responding to me. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, my God. oh first of all, oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Wait a minute. Let we get an echo guys. when she talks louder. Are you talking about me? Yeah, well. <laughs> Am I, I don't is Stephanie know. muffled? Yeah. Well, we yeah we said you were mute, muted, but do you want to share the screen? <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh, okay. You guys, I don't, don't hear anybody right me. now except for Remember, myself. And I was trying. Like TCA is talking according to the icon, but I cannot hear her. You can't hear yes, me. The echo is better. Do do. Can you guys hear me? Hello? You guys got me cracking up. This is so funny. We are so such a mess tonight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can you hear me? Um I hear you. Can you hear me? I can't hear TCA and I don't hear Alex. And I'm not sure can if you, you hear guys me? can hear me. So if you could tell me if you can hear me. Okay, Kathy said you can hear me. Can you hear? I don't hear Alex. It is crazy. Checking convictions. What the hell? I can hear both of you. I don't know what is okay. going on. Alex, are you there? Yes. Hello? Maybe she's just not talking. <laughs> can you, can hear, you hear me, me now? now? TCA, are you there? I'm here. I can't hear TCA at all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can, Can you, you hear me now? <laughs> Can you hear? So you me? must be able to hear TCA on. Um, I can hear. Can hear in, in. Can you hear me? TCA, so it must be we can hear you on. She. she on. Can you hear me? Hear you from YouTube. I just can't hear you I on StreamYard. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna leave and come right back. I hear all good. <laughs> oh my god! Can you guys hear me? <laughs> Allie, yes. can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? You can hear me. <laughs> well, yeah. Can you? Oh hear my me? gosh. <laughs> What the hell is going on? Oh my God. I am ready to cry. <laughs> oh, I hear I was. You guys should have listened earlier. I was trying to hook my Bluetooth up to my earpiece and it kept saying it couldn't. My freaking earpiece was plugged into the charger on the wall, it wasn't even in my ear. That's how. My day's been going. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was so funny. I can hear both of you guys, but y'all couldn't hear anything. <laughs> All I could hear is you giggling <laughs> and her, hear like, I can't hear TCA. I can't. And I'm like, I'm here. Hello. You guys, I'm here. <laughs> and I was going through so trying to are. figure <laughs> out what I was doing wrong. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> The oh chat it says they are dying laughing. <laughs> oh, jeez. Deep, deep breathing trying to stop. Yes, <laughs> Tia. <laughs> so I can't hear anybody now. You can't hear me? <laughs> I can't hear Alex. I can't hear my... Something is wrong. Let me get a second. <laughs> Something is way wrong. <laughs> I can't hear anyone. Oh my God! I think that this is okay. not going to happen tonight. <laughs> Try this. <laughs> oh my God! Can you hear me? <laughs> Only what I hear is if I you hear me now. You guys, if I pull up from um, YouTube, but I'm afraid if I do that, 
y'all can um <laughs> if I do that you guys will hear an echo so let's see <laughs> and it won't be the same time so I don't know if right now if I'm just talking to myself or if you can hear me or if I'm talking over other people I have no idea oh my god <laughs> so who's on first <laughs> Oh my god. I'm so sorry, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. I hear you. <laughs> oh, checking convictions like... said I I can I hear you. Which one do you hear? What a shit show. <laughs> oh my God. I she says I don't know if I'm talking to myself. <laughs> oh. oh I needed this laugh. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> oh my stomach hurts. When your lover. Oh my, my face hurts. I don't know if this is gonna happen. Pretty funny. Oh, it's working. <gasps> Hold what? It. <laughs> the Lord provideth. What happened? I can hear. Oh! <laughs> yes. What happened? Dear God. You didn't oh. realize you back now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to mute so I can sit over here and laugh. <laughs> oh I thought I was going to die. I was oh like, God. God. Stephanie, we have been. You've got to listen to the replay of this after, because uh, at first you guys couldn't hear, but I could hear you both, and the chat could hear us all, and we we have been laughing hysterically. I just was talking to myself, like um, <laughs> I, the only thing I I knew that somebody I could see y'all talking because I have like on my I have my TV on mute, so I can see comments coming up, for, and I'm like. Because I have, you know, the fire stick so I can pull up YouTube. But I'm like, oh, my God, I cannot. I don't know. <laughs> I'm talking over people. I don't know anything. Anyway, so, well, so I'm was, glad you can hear me. <laughs> yes, I and I was going to tell you, I can't share my screen on my phone. That's what I okay. log back in on. But I can try to pull up Messenger on my laptop and then get the link. Or we can just go over some of your stuff. Uh, good. Um, let me check. That's why that's what I was trying to do. Okay. I was trying to ask the chat and I don't even know if they ever heard me. Um, and I'm reading y'all's comments. <laughs> okay. Uh, dude, do you guys know who, do you need me to go over who Keegan Klein is? Or do y'all know? Cause I don't want to bring up like who, um, Keegan Klein. I want to go through that. That's all old news for y'all. Or that is. Um, okay. Checking conventions does not. Okay. So all of a sudden one night. Yeah, he is a piece of shit. Okay. So I'm going to try to find the, for all the Delphi people, wait, checking convention convictions. You said, don't go over it or you don't know who he is. LFT, he was on third base and he hit a home run. That's why he, he's an asshole. Um, okay, checking convictions knows who he is. Is there anybody that does not know who Keegan Klein is? Speak now or forever hold your peace. I know who he is. Do not go over it. Old news to me. Okay. That's what, okay. So now we... Is there anybody that think thinks Keegan Klein is 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 BG Bridge guy? I don't believe he is. I don't think he is, and that, and then after going through. Um, going through 
the actual going to where the crime scene happened. Uh, there's no way there's only one person. I agree with that. I think there's several people involved in this. Oh, yeah. There yep. has to be. After seeing and, what, what we saw, it was Well, like, I don't know what you saw, but I just, I just, I mean, I, just in my gut, I feel there was several. And I'm not psychic by any means, but those little girls, they were, you know, they could, one person couldn't have done that. So, so, um, uh, Marvelin, Marvelous Marvin, will you send me, um, the footage that you have of you trying to go, when you got across the bridge, you trying to go down, um, the hill. So, okay. Marvelous Marvin and I have been to Defy. Um, when we went the last, I've only been there twice. She's been there more than I have. I went in May and it was green and beautiful um and i couldn't see across oh my boyfriend's here or, or my fiance frank meister saved my life when we were um in delphi so hi boyfriend <laughs> it's a joke but he's a sweetheart um he and marvelous marvin run the channel together and they know like there, investigates the channel. Everybody to subscribe because her and Frank, like they dig deep and they have a private invest or a, a a well, I call him a private investigator. He is a retired detective named Steve, and he like has done things. He has gone into deep things that I never he blows my mind. Of, so, is it the marvelous investigates? Yes. Oh, cool. Oh, they were cracking up with us over the, uh, um, <laughs> all of us not hearing each other. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like you missed our comedy, the comedy part. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> the comedy so portion I, of the show. Yes. Yes, you did. So we went, when I had gone today, like it, it was a total different scenery. Um, and it, like you could, you couldn't see. I still couldn't see across the bridge a second time, but it was a totally different feeling. The I could see how the girls would go across the water, as we've been told they did. I went back in February, and Feb February was more like, it, well, it was almost exact same conditions it was the day the girls went there. It had snowed that morning. It was, it was freezing. And um, it was the water in deer creek was like it was the day of the when the girls were murdered this water was rushing um i just can't imagine that they could have crossed that water i mean i know people uh, <laughs> and then when you when i show you what like Frank and I, and well, there was like a couple of us that went down actually to the crime scene. I had no idea what it took to get to the crime scene. Um, I'm glad I did it. I was sore for a week and I never would have made it back if it wasn't for Frank. Like he literally saved my life. I would not. The It was like a 45 degree incline. Um, there's no way one person could have done it. Um and then if you if you see the marvel uh, marvelous marvin went uh, actually across the um bridge and there's no way you could go down the hill you know how he tells the girls to go down the hill you would have slid all the way down so it makes sense that one of the shoes would have been there because it would have fallen off but you i mean he would have slid with them so there had to have been more than one person um not sure if the girls were actually murdered where we as we where we say they you know where they were found i don't there's a lot of um things i totally changed everything i believe 100 percent. i being there now that i mean i went there and met last may and i still believe the theory that he they went across the bridge they went down the hill they crossed the creek and then they died across the um 
you know, right across the way. But then after I went there during um, the same weather that it was that day, and I saw what the creek was like that day, um, I'm not sure anymore. And I definitely know there's more than just a bridge guy there, in my opinion. This is all speculation on my part from going there. But yeah, it was crazy. So, um, Marvelous Marvin, I'm looking to see if you sent me that thing. Because uh, I kind of wanted them to see what you had. Oh, she, hadn't, she hasn't done it yet. Okay. Shared channel. Pointer Lover says, BG looks like a big man, too. I agree. And I, uh, there's a couple people who people have been suspicious of. And then you look at him, like that guy recently, remember? Um, well, they just, it doesn't make sense because they don't look unless there were multiple people there. I mean, then. I think Keegan and his dad might have been there to set, or not there. Maybe, I don't even know if they were actually there, but I think that they might have been the ones to get them there but um i don't think they there's no way they would have been able to go up and down the the incline and and do the that stuff you had to have been a trained um as frank said like a, a trained um like military uh taught to be able to kill somebody like Huh. It was that steep or? Was, yeah. The conditions, like you would have to have training on how to take control. Um, if you go to Marvelous Investigates and I'll have to find um, the episode, but go to Marvelous Investigates page, pull up the video for the walk. Fast forward to the part you want. It will take forever to upload to you. Okay. Okay. Well, Marvelous Investigates, um, I told you that she has this um, guy named Steve on her channel that um, Steve is a retired uh, detective. It's pretty right. amazing. I wish I had the video. Um, Marvelous, and you're welcome to put the actual um, video that I'm about to talk about. So he one of his things that he did as a detective is he would take pictures and manipulate them or check to see if they've been manipulated and we've all assumed what was on like bridge guy had his hand in his pocket and it looked like he had like a fanny pack on and you watch him break down um that video and it appears that really he had a gun in his hand um certified forensic specialist thank you frank um and really that was put in there because they did not law enforcement did not want the real video of bridge guy on there because he had a gun in his hand so we all what when they manipulated the video in the picture of bridge guy it looks like bridge guy has his hand in his pocket and you he'll he's able to show the video in the, this video of um, marvelous investigates when when Steve is going over the picture and how he talks about um, how law enforcement does this and why they do it. It was unbelievable. I well, never you know, I've always thought that it. I've always wondered if he had a gun in his hand uh, in that pocket. Anyways, it's like the angle or the way he's holding it, like he's trying to hide it, but also make it seem maybe to them. I don't know. It's just something I always wondered if if it was a gun. Um, yeah. it, and I've also wondered about what's in his jeans. Is there is there something in his jeans? Me too, Allie. I always wondered the same thing. So you have to go to this video. You will die when you see. I mean, he's able to almost nail down the type of gun it was. The you can't is, play it. Um, Marvelous, can you? I mean, it's long. Do you guys really want to? I mean. She said you could fast forward it. Well, this is a different video. Oh, well, then we'll, we'll listen to it and watch it on our own. Yeah, I'll watch it on my own time. Just send it's me the link. Marvelous, do you want to put it in the chat? 
when I'm saying you need to go to her to subscribe to her and make sure you have your bell on, I don't want to miss her episodes. Like she'll have one on Sunday again. And um, does, do they cover uh, specifically Delphi or is it uh, yes, variety? Yes, Delphi is the main um, stuff they cover. Although last, was it last night? I think it was last night they did do Lily Peters. Oh, cool. But, okay. Yeah, I'll definitely I'm going to have to go watch that. Um, yeah, you can be for me. telling me about her channel. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, okay, so let's see. Let me pull up Messenger. She got the pictures. Okay, cool. So she sent me a picture. Let me pull this picture up. This is before you go down the bridge. So I'm going to share my screen with y'all in one second. Now the pic I'm about to show is Marvelous Investigates. Um, add to the stream. Where is the... Hold on one second. Coiner lover, I wonder what that could have been uh, in his jeans. Maybe. I don't know. I try to think it's got to be something long. So, I don't know. Okay, so this is from the top, like where if you're at the bridge, you're going down the hill. So, this is what it looks like at the time of year that the girls would have gone. Um, Chadwell, I don't believe is involved. Yeah, I don't think Chadwell had anything to do with that either. Okay, so um, Marvelous, Marvelous Marvin, like I said, she did cross the bridge because she's brave and she had someone holding her hand. Um, and as you can see, that's very the steep from the bridge going down. So they had to basically slide down to get... Can you guys see that? I don't know if it's coming. Yes. Does that bridge have a whole bunch of gaps in it? Like where the boards yes. are moving? Yes. You have, that's why I couldn't do it. Can you guys see the picture? Cause I don't. All we see is your home screen like this. That's what I, that's what I thought. Okay. Hold on. Let me go back. I don't know why it's not showing up. Did you press share file or share full screen? Share, I said share entire screen. That's why I'm trying hmm. to figure out why it's not coming up. Let me go back and try again. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Hey, I saw the picture go off just now when you did, that. <laughs> did Of course. It, sl <laughs> it slid off. Is it, do you have it as an, oh, you don't have it as an overlay. It slid to the left. That's weird the way that did that just now. Okay. Let's try again. Share. Hey, Broken Justice. Hey, Broken Justice. Hey, Broken Justice. Checking conviction says you have to pick the right screen. Okay. Hello, LFT. Now, let's see if it comes up. Messenger, there. Okay. I'm trying to see if you can really tell. Can you guys see it? Yeah. Yeah, I see it. Okay. So, yes, there are gaps in between, um, big gaps, and it's rotting. That's why I'm like, there's, I tried, I think the first in May, last May I did it, I got about seven steps, but you, like part, some of it, you kind of have to leap over if your legs aren't long enough because 
Ooh, that's um, scary. Yeah, and it's I mean it's high up. It's an old old bridge. Um, and then so here, it, I don't know if you can tell, but you basically I don't. She had to. They slid down. This is the first hill. So there's this hill. I don't know if you can see my cursor. Probably not. This is the first hill. The girls. Yeah, we can see down. it. And then there's this private drive here. Yep. Okay, so then they would go have gone down um, the second, like more flat area, mm -hmm. and crossed into the river. Well, it's a creek called Deer Creek, but it's um, oh, you got it on here. Okay, she said that she got the second picture. This is from up by the bridge, so you can kind of get you can see a better view of the incline from if i don't know if you can see where the red um to the right um kind of in the middle of the page there's like a a red i don't know what you would call it almost like a they used to call them um uh, wood horses but it's like a gate is what it is the red gate can you guys see the red gate to the right mm, oh yep i do Okay, so, but, so yeah. that's right by the bridge. So if you uh, look, this is a side view of going down. So you, that would be like down the hill. Yeah. And then you'd be at the private drive, and then you'd be like at a flat area. So is this the down the hill he's talking about? It is. Yes. Right? And they like slid down. And that current was really fast. But when I was there in May, I was totally fine. Like I could see like crossing it because it would only be like three feet. It wasn't going really fast. And people actually um, do get in there and they fish and, and stuff. However, when I went this time, it was different. So yeah. yes, a red border pass gate. Okay. Mm. Uh, yeah, that is a steep hill. They, de they definitely. Ugh. So I, we get to you the actual trail itself is really not that long a half mile to a mile to a mile um so one thing i don't know if those of you that had followed me uh or had been um to my prior streams my daughter and i had gone to the first one in may the first time we went and we were late of of course and um we met ron logan but i didn't know that's who it was and those of you that have followed the case um ron logan it the girls were found on his property and um he was the original suspect um he did not he was cleared um he was not there that day um the, or at the time the girls were murdered so um can so i he, ask you real quick what do you think about the people that have shown those pictures and tried to kind of pick out stuff in the background and then haven't been there in person. And do you think that's just like social media, um, like a not clickbait, but like something that kind of spreads fast because it's more shocking and prob but probably not true. Or what do you think? I think that you talk about Cheyenne's pictures. Um, I don't know, but I know there's been a man uploading like to YouTube. Uh, this Not, week. You're talking about uh, what's his name? Uh, above Bond or above? Yes, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't believe like necessarily what his pictures, but uh, Randy, um, Randy and actually Frank, um, were the ones that started. They found Cheyenne, they went started from the beginning and found Cheyenne's picture of the guy sitting below the bridge and yes that's where it all started that's um, when she crossed like right after them right or right before them and it was and it was in her picture the whole time that she didn't even realize it right right maybe maybe she did maybe she didn't i don't know right. um you know i don't know what cheyenne what, i just wonder how quickly the police got those pictures well cheyenne uploaded them uh, yes, yeah, Steve helped us show at least two people under the bridge. So Marvelous Investigates, she has, they do, so when Randy and Frank, like, noticed this guy under the bridge, 
they gave it to, to the private investigator or not. I call him the private investigator. He's not a private investigator, but he is a retired um, law enforcement that uh, did was a detective and um, d d analyzes, like I told you, photos and, and crime scenes and all of that stuff. So he was able to see two people under the bridge at uh. least. So if you go to, again, on her videos, um, Frank, or Frank and Marvelous Marvin and Randy Gravit. Randy Gravit is, um, I don't know if you guys know, he lives in Delphi. So oh, he cool. did the tour of our, um, when we go to Delphi. Um, so she did, they did a video gonna show in, in the pictures yeah. where, okay, he awesome. Rains it. So it's like, it's not like this other guy where he's saying, oh, this is where the girls, you can see this is Abby's head and this, yes. it's not like that. This is like legit. Okay, um, awesome. I cannot wait to watch it. I got a question, guys. Yes. What do any of you feel about BG being a female? What's your thoughts on that? Across the bridge? The BG, the bridge guy, being a female dressed like a man. Possible. If you go look at the picture and really study it, you know, I don't know. Just, just I was wondering what your guys' thoughts was on that. I never thought about it, but I never uh, did either. I'd have to look again. Anything in this case does not surprise me, to be honest. Do you know yeah. marvelous? Do you know the title of that video where you guys are doing the pictures? There's a it depends which pictures you're talking about because she has like every. I'm gonna pull up the picture right now of um. The I, I can only see one guy. They can explain on her one of her videos about the second guy. I just got to figure out how to make it bigger, and I'll share my screen. Okay. Got it. All right. I'm going to show you the picture of the, um, of Cheyenne's. Let's see. We have looked at BG being a female and there's no evidence of it. Only person we can think of it being is <gasps> AG. Seriously, Marvelous Marvin? Really? Did somebody, hold on. Let me look at that. Uh, Look at her. We at, have looked at BG. Oh, really? And there is no ev Okay. Only person. Oh. Wow. Wow. Marvelous Marvin. He was at our. He did our video of our last May of our. With us. What? Wait. Am I talking about the same person that you're talking about that's in jail right now? I just, I guess I don't know who he is. <laughs> no, not him. Okay. I thought you were talking about Greeno. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> okay. I just oh had a, panic, a little panic attack. Yeah, if you were there with the yes. killer, that'd be awful. <laughs> that are walked with us? <laughs> Yeah. Because he has, people have said that about him. Um, that's why it kind of freaked me. Not that he was BG, but that he was involved or something. But I don't know if that, you know. Yeah. It's weird though, you know. Uh, and I've thought about this with Tim Mullen too, with Summer Wells. Because there's just something odd about him. And you know, there's other cases where the perpetrator will actually join in and the help to search them, find them, be like very vocal looking for them just so that they can kind of have like that inside perspective yeah. of what's going on. They do people, the killers do do that. They want to get involved in searches and all that kind of stuff. Yes. Um, and she's talking about um, Kurtz's, the female that was involved in. Um, okay. Frank put it out there. <laughs> so there it is. I love Frank. He's so like, sure. No, here it is. Okay. All right. Let me share my Thanks, screen. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, here it is, y'all. Okay. I should have Frank up when I put up our um, Delphi when we were walked through our I never did finish my Ron story, but that's okay. 
anyway, we met Ron Logan, but Ron had passed away a couple, like six weeks or so before we went to Delphi this past time. And so we ended up going to the crime scene um, this time. Okay, this is the picture that, um, this is one of the pictures that what was taken and that Randy went over. He and Frank had seen when they were looking at this picture. Um, this is one of the ones that Cheyenne had posted, but you, if you just look at it, you're not really looking deep into it. You don't really see much. And I think this is why it got overlooked. It probably didn't get overlooked by, um, law enforcement, but to, I know I'm going, I'm going to zoom in in just one second. So if you look at it right now, do y'all see anything? I do now well, that you, I know where it's at, but that. not before. Right. Like I never would have known. And it no. took me a minute to get it until uh -huh. they me really. Too. Now, this picture um, you're showing looks a lot more clear. See, the first person who showed me was actually Coat. It's like sound off. Um, and she sent it in pictures and I was able to see it. And then I started checking out that dude's videos, but he's showing something totally different. Than, yes. Yeah. Yes. So this is the original um, photo. So if you, um, um, let me know when it zooms all the way in. It's going to be pretty pixelated because I really zoomed in, but. Yeah, it's know. pretty, it's pretty close now. I think, I don't know if that's full as far as you can or what, but it. Okay, so here's the bridge. I don't know if you can see my cursor, but this is the bridge. And here's the grassy area under the bridge. And this is a steep hill, remember? Here is the a ball. Well, it looks like a bald head in me. It's the a ball, it's a man's head. And here is his arm. And here are what I thought were his legs. Now, there's really two people here. But I don't know where the second person is because I've never been able to visualize it. I can just see him clearly. But if you go to Marvelous Marvin's video, you'll be able to see. Um, they're able to break it down better than I can. But that is um, right at 3 o'clock is when this was taken. Right about the time the girls were murdered. Isn't the other person like to the right down just a little in a hoodie or something with the hood up? Um, let's see if I right up against that rail, you see like the sleeve and like the hood. Yeah, but I don't, I can't see it. Everybody else can, but I can't, I cannot visualize it. They can. His hood, his shoulder is right to the left of where your cursor just was. You were like right beside his shoulder. Now I you're. Can, yeah. Let me so checking convictions because she doesn't see a person um okay checking convictions can you see where my cursor is like it looks like a a like a bald head right here where is your cursor at i'm gonna actually let me take my cursor i'm gonna put it right above his head okay You know, I thought it was legs at first, too. It still almost looks like legs to me. I know. Do you see that? The, the round color. It's like a, that's, a, to me, it looks like a bald head. That's my interpretation, the way that my, my eyes see it. Okay. You see that, that circle? I see it like a bald head, too. Yes. And then if you look down. I'm going to put my cursor right next to it. Well, I'm going to go over it with my cursor first. This is his right hand. Like he has his hand right above his eyes. Like, oh shit, what did I just see? And I'll put my cursor right above that right hand. Frank, I can't, I can't see the second person. Um, she told me, Coat told me when she showed me these that they said something like, it's been in front of your uh, face. Not it's been in front of your face this whole time. Something like that, though. I can't remember the phrase that she used. Do you know what I'm talking about? That would make it almost make sense that it's been in this photo. You know what I mean? The whole time. Yeah. Yep. 
Frank said the first that the other person is the second person standing in front of the person sitting down. I can't uh, drop cursor down. Okay, I am dropped down, but I don't see the other. I don't person. even see the cursor. I'm blind though. <laughs> okay, so do you, you can't see the cursor. Okay, are you on your phone? Yeah. That's probably, yeah. yeah. I have my computer up in this picture, oh, like a blur, she said. That might be why. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to. I had to. Um, I had to actually have my computer computer up. I'm on my phone too, and uh, it's also because the cursor is black and that bridge is dark right there, so it kind of like blends in together. We'll go over this. Enough. I mean. I'll show you privately. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Marvelous says that's that awesome. she's sending you something right now. Okay. okay. Yay. How exciting. Hey, I think I've asked you guys this before, but do you think that the Delphi murders are um, anything, have anything to do with the Evansdale, Iowa murders that happened probably... 10 years ago that Elizabeth, um, oh, what was her name? Elizabeth Collins and Lyric, Lyrica or Lyric Cook, because literally they were found five months after they came up missing and they found their bike and one of the girls's purse on a trail. I've heard they, about they, it. Th that happened here in my state. Yeah, I know. I there I just wonder if they're related. I mean, I've always wondered that. Uh, Marvel oh, yeah. put something on there that they're looking into a connection to the Evansdale murders that she, I am assuming she means she and Frank, because they, they actually do those investigations. And I guess. Oh, that would be, yeah. Good. Okay. Because I've always wondered. Okay, go ahead. Okay. I, okay. So she sent me this other picture which is the same picture. It's just different. Okay. Here. Can you see? Um, oh, I see a head and arm. arm. Yes. Yep. Where can I send your blow up of this picture? But where is the guy with, where's the hat? Like, that's what I'm wondering. Cause I don't see. I, don't see, I can't. See, yeah. I can't see the second person. And I have tried since the, the video had come out. I just, my eyes are just not. Okay, I still can't. I think I'm. Out. I I see the drop down. Okay, right here, Frank. Is that what you're talking about? Oh, my baby. There's no brace where the first guy is. What directly under the arm? This guy. Where the arm is. Here okay, I see his arm. First guy. But I don't see a head. I don't see, like, I see, I don't. Like, I think I can see an arm, too, and, like, the back, but I don't see the head or the hat part. I, you mean, well, is there a guy right next to him? Okay. Everybody. I might see a second guy right here. Why can't I see it? Because, okay, I see the head and then, the, then an arm and then almost right behind or to the right of him or her, whatever, I see another head and shoulders or something. Frank said drop a link. All right. Hold drop on. the drop link. link. Drop, drop the, the link. link. <laughs> I love when you talk to me like that, Frank. Okay, hold Drop on. the link. Drop the link. Let me up there. All right, hold on. Checking convictions. It is lighting and shadowing. That's what I see in my opinion, but okay. <laughs> That's the same thing with like the Chris Watts shadows and the red car and stuff. Like I always, Oh God, I saw the shadows and I saw the red car, but. <laughs> Pointer lovers never heard of the Evansdale case. You got, yeah, that happened here in Iowa. One was 10 and one was eight. They came up missing and five months later they found their bodies and they found one of the girls' bike and the other girl's little, her little purse 
on a trail. Hmm. I, I I hadn't heard of it till you had mentioned it, and I still don't know you know know about it. Know about it. All right, Frank. I'm gonna send it to you through Messenger. And it is unsolved too. Ten years later, which is so very sad. Okay. All right, I sent it in Messenger. We had a retired detective look at these pics and work with them. Okay, Steve is amazing, Marvelous Investigates. He is amazing. I don't know how you guys, like, ended up linking up with him, but he blows my mind with these pictures and what he brings to the table. He is pretty amazing. TCA, I wish you could come out to come with us to our next event. Well, not our event, but he found you. Okay, Frank. Hold on, I'm about to add you. Okay, Frank. Hello. You're in. You hear nobody. Wait, can you hear? Hold on, Hi, Frank. We can can't hear, hear nobody. Hello, Frank. Nice <laughs> to meet you. Oh no, he can't hear us. Oh God. <laughs> Y'all hear me? Yes. I can't hear you. Let me, oh let me no, we're not gonna back go through this. Not again. <laughs> God, oh no, oh, you really guys. wanted to listen. Oh, we got to pray. Yeah. We got to pray. <laughs> I can't do this again. Who's on first? You know what? Maybe, you know what? If he can't, maybe is it because maybe do I need to go down so he can come up? I really no. want to hear what he has to say. I still can't hear you guys. Why is that? Okay, hold on, Frank. Is his uh, volume up? Let's see. Let's is his volume up? Yes, it is. <laughs> that is so weird. This is exactly why this was the problem we had. <laughs> For God. Do you want me to go out? Will that make a difference? I don't um, think it will, honestly. No, that's what it is. No. Okay. I don't know what is happening. Why is he doing that? Hold on. Well, maybe he can just talk to us through that and we'll mute and he can explain. Okay, we'll mute. <laughs> well, hold on. Edit my settings. Okay. Hold on. Work. Ugh. I don't know why we're having this problem tonight. Ugh. I don't know why we're having this problem tonight. Hey, Wyoming Adventure. Okay. You're at bad stuff. Uh, that's not me. I think it's you. I think you have the YouTube open. Frank, you think you have a YouTube um, open? That's why. Yeah, he does. That's how he's listening to us. I know. You hear me? I can hear you. Yep. Oh, I'm on YouTube. You what? Now we are. Not again. I don't know why we're having this issue. So weird. So, so weird. Same thing happening on both. Because that's, you guys, that's what we were doing the first 30 minutes. Allison couldn't hear us. Me and Steph could hear each other. And she was trying different mics and restarting her computer and everything else. And then we go to Steph's channel and then you couldn't hear us. <laughs> it was, it's crazy. I don't know. Oh, for the love of God. 
Yeah, round two, checking convictions. Wyoming Adventures, you've missed all the um, the comedy show. Oh, my God. Hold on, he's in the thing. Add to stream. I fixed it. You did? Well, it's on your end. How is it on my end? Hello. 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 Checking. Can, um, Hello. Hello. Is that better? I can. Well, there's an echo because you have YouTube on, and I. Yeah, you have YouTube on. That's the only way you can hear us, right? That's not me. No. It is you. It is. It is him. It just doesn't sound like it to him because he has a delay on the uh, video versus watching it live. Frank, close your YouTube out and only use StreamYard. I already did. Well, <laughs> well mute for a second. I already did. Rank Well, for a second. Your um. See now we can now there's no um echo because you're on mute. Yeah. Open. Okay. Oh my goodness. I can hear you. Can you hear us? Yeah, there's no echo now. Yeah, the echo's gone. Okay. Gone. Where do you want me to go to, Frank? All right. I guess I'm just going to have to voice it on uh, the chat. Can you hear us? Voice it on uh, the chat. Can you hear us? I can hear you. Well, now you're back on YouTube. <laughs> I know I'm not. I went through Messenger. I turned YouTube off. Went through Messenger. Well, why don't you guys just talk and uh, like prepare for the delay, and we'll meet. Okay. Um. All right, Steph, this is what I want you to do. Okay. Pull up that picture. Okay. And zoom all the way in on that person you see sitting under the bridge. Yeah, don't go through chat on Messenger. Look at Mar look at the marvelous of don't go through chat or on the because that's why we're getting the echo. I'm going to close out. I'm you should uh, just drop the link in your chat right, box gonna, okay, on yeah. YouTube. All that's right. the best way. Okay, so close out, and I'm going to drop the link in the YouTube, okay? Wyoming Adventures, you're hilarious. <laughs> A freaky swing. Oh my gosh. What a night, y'all. Oh, it's been the best. It's been fun. I hey, think well, we're waiting for him, you guys. Have you heard of that guy um, that got picked up? I think he was from he was from Indiana, but he got picked up in Kentucky for trying to lure young girls in. No, I haven't. <laughs> yeah. Welcome, marvelous investigate. Hello there. How are you? Lovely, lovely, lovely. Do you want to share? Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys, too. Nice to meet you. Marvelous, do you want to share your screen? Yeah, I can share my screen. Okay. 
We lost Frank again. Where does he keep going? I don't know. I think hey. he keeps trying to restart so he can hear us. Allie, Steph, uh, I'll send you a picture of that guy that I was just talking about from Indiana. Okay. That got picked up in Kentucky. And tell me what you guys think. Okay. Okay, I sent it in our messenger. Okay, I'll check it after the live. No, you're fine. You're fine. I'm just going to do some fast forwarding here. Okay. I think very similar face shape and shit, like. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he does. I could see that. Thank you for coming up here to show us this. Yeah. Thank oh, you so you're welcome. Much, I appreciate it. Okay. So this is the one that Steve did here. And I'm going to put this full screen here so you guys can see it. So this is actually, and I'm hoping you can see my cursor going around in a circle here. This is actually the per first person's head that we saw. I totally then, see it now. And then it's like part of his arm here. And what Steve is saying is back in here, it's almost like somebody sitting in his lap. That's why his legs look so weird. And the other head is here. But now, this is what I see, and this is what I pointed out to them all along. This is another head right here, but it's a side profile and a person standing. This here is the beam for the bridge. But where this person is here, there are no beams there and i can show you because i can pull up the video of the actual pictures we took underneath the bridge hey my computer's oh it's the video so do you see what hold, hold on one second is there a way for me to make it so we only see um, the picture, like, so we go off. Yes. You have to click on, on the bo boxes on the bottom there. You got to click on the one furthest to the right. Or no, is that, did that make it bigger at all? Yeah. See, that okay. tripped me out at first. I thought I saw, but I'm, I'm getting confused. That's still, I don't know the second one the first one I can see it looks like he's almost like in binocular position or something like head up to the eyes right yeah that's kind of what we thought too but then the second one is he facing him facing which direction he's facing this way so it's a side profile because if you look, you've got the eyes here, the nose here, the chin is here. My husband's in here pointing at different parts. Of the <laughs> what are you doing here? Yeah. I think we all know our noses and eyes and chins are. Who's going to go get gray? I can go get gray here in a little bit. What time does he get done? I don't know. Somebody told him. Okay. Nobody said anything. All right. I can do it. So, sorry about that side conversation with the husband about kids. <laughs> hey, guys. So, can you guys see that? Can you hear me? I see yes, it. Yes, Frank. Yes, Frank. I can hear you. You're in. All right. Take your cursor. 
Wait a minute. Uh, Marvelous Marvin's on a pick right now. On that. Oh. Frank, I, or Frank, I've got the picture that Steve did up. I see it. Take that cushion. Okay. Take the cushion. Yeah. Go up. Go up. You know where the arm is, right? Go up where the arm, arm is. Where the arm yep. is. Move down right there. That white spot is the hat of the other person. Slide down just a bit. You'll see the black hair right below the hat. And then you can see the left shoulder, the right shoulder, and the right arm going down. I don't see that. All right, move your cursor to the left where it kind of goes right to the beam. Right there. Okay, that's his left shoulder. Okay, right below that, that little white spot right before the beam. That's his left shoulder. Okay. And if you move straight across to your right, you're going to see the right shoulder. Keep going right there. That's the right shoulder. And then follow that down. You can see his arm going down. If it's a woman, a guy, we don't know. But if you keep going down, you can see his ass in. And you can see his uh, one or two legs there. The ass is going to be to your, to your left a little bit. I think the, the best way to do it, support with stuff, is actually have them watch this video from Steve. He can explain it better. The beginning. Yes. Um, so this is the first one. And then if you go. Those are the internet geek ones. And I see Julian Powell's back in the uh, in the picture again. Yep. Is it or is it not altered? The, this one is the one of BG. This is the first part. So you're gonna want to watch this. This is the this is what our um. Our retired detective did so that's the first part and then he filters out what ellie has done to alter the photo yeah there's bg's face revealed and then there's um is it or is it not altered state part two yep and that's where the gun comes in yep We got a lot of good stuff on here, Steph. Oh, you have amazing stuff. We're following up with some other stuff that we're uh, being told. So, so and what's going on with Julian Powell? Like, oof. I didn't. We can, know. we cannot eliminate him at all. No, well, he's he's connected to the uh, Lance shots. Because his dad dated uh, Lance Schatz's his mom, and they lived directly across the street from Keegan and his dad. And we know that another creator found a guy that was just arrested for same kind of crap that Keegan was doing. He is related to the Schatz family through his grandson. Or his son, one of the two. It's his son, right? Yeah. So he was with Lance Shot's mom's daughter at one point in time, and they had a kid. So that's how it all mixes in. And Julian Powell's involved with them and the Kleins. It, I mean, it's, it's a it's a mess. It is. It's crazy. It is. I mean, it is intertwined. That's why I think there's so many people involved. And we were, everybody was focused on, there's a, br a bridge guy, a bridge guy for years. A yes. Guy. And then all of a sudden law enforcement comes out, I think, what was it, January, December, and says, oh, sorry, we forgot, we are now telling you that this is socially, or social media might be involved. 
and we're in a whole different place than we were six months ago. Like, I don't know. I'm just Is this Frank on here? Is his name Frank? Frank Meister is his YouTube name. Frank, hi. Um, nice to meet you. Uh, I was wondering, hi. have you heard of the guy? Um, he's from Indiana. They arrested him in Kentucky this morning or last night. And he was arrested for luring young kids. And his name, I think, was Matthew Betts, B-E-T-Z. Uh, I haven't heard nothing about it yet, but since you brought it up, I will look into it. If you would just uh, give the information to Steph and she'll forward yes, and to me Steph here, I got it off. Um, yeah. She just and sent me a messenger. I'll send it to both of you. I'll send, uh, in messenger. Yes, send them the picture that would for be great. Me. Thank you. Thank no you. No problem. Yeah, because what we do on our channel is, um, you know, we get information every day, emailed to, I mean, it comes from most at every, every direction, but we don't put anything out on our channel that we haven't researched. So Frank does most of the research um, because I work full time Monday through Friday. Um, I work in, at an insurance company and, so throughout the day, he's calling me and we're we're texting and I'm like, hey, look into this. Hey, look into that. So right. He does all the research and and we're actually in the process of changing over um, Marvelous Investigates to a combined channel with the two of us because we have partnered up. So um, in the next week here, everything will be getting converted over to our new name and so it's both of us and not just what I had for me. Yeah. Um, you know, we got somebody that we know that's friends with a private investigator. And I hit her up and I said, hey, and, well, she actually asked me if she wanted me to, or if she could get him involved. And I said, yeah, I, there's certain information I need. And he's able to get that because in the state of Indiana, most of your public private investigators, well, of course, have to be legally licensed in Indiana. They work for law firms. So they have access to get court documents that nobody can get to, you know, things like that. And apparently he's been working this case well over six months now. He's, he's given me what do you want to call breadcrumbs? And I'm still away. I, I, I hooked him up with Steve too, so and see if they'll work together. He's got an idea what's taking place. Well, everybody ought to know that drugs, sex trafficking, and porn are all in, hand, in one hand together, you know? Yep. So, it's, I'm not going to give any more information out until I verify it all, but it looks. It looks promising, but I can't guarantee anything. So, <clears throat> and yes, he is convinced that somebody in political power is mainly involved. Yes, we've always thought that. So. And I think a lot of people have already been pointing the finger at one individual, and I'm not going to say it. So, um, hey Frank, since we okay, so Frank and I when um when Marvelous investigates when we got to where the bridge is, you can go across the bridge, mm -hmm. you can go, or you can go back on the trail, mm -hmm. or you can take a side, <laughs> another way. And um, <laughs> Frank and I and a, a few others um, wanted to go down to where they found the girls' bodies. Um, and what I was saying about Ron Logan, he had passed away a while, a couple weeks back. So we went, um, oh, wait, what else? Yeah, you're, you're right. Ask questions. Okay. It was a few months ago, but yeah. Yes, so he passed away, and so we um, that's private property um, of his, and so we went ahead and um, wanted to go back there. Um, other pe there's not a lot of people that I guess that really have um, get 
never mind that part. So anyway, we went back there and um and then we realized how steep that it was that the one down uh you share your hills and ravines and can you, can you can you pull up the screen i actually found the part of the video where i can show so this here is on the south side of the bridge this here is the first down the hill and then you've got the private driveway that runs through this. <clears throat> so, okay, I'm going to play this because we're on the private drive now, so we're looking for an, a spot that they could have taken the girls down. Hey. There we go. So we're walking along the private drive, and it'll show you how steep this hill it really is this is the second hill to get down and i don't know why it keeps doing this but to get down to the river this is the one we slid down yeah you guys got to remember even though this was a month later five years later there's still the the terrain and the conditions were basically the same as it was back in 2017. just overcast but not it wasn't sunny that day when we were there like it was back then wet muddy oh yeah so you can see the ground it's it's mud it's i was covered and this is the one of the kids i'm with who slid down the hill first <laughs> and then there you i'm go. trying to i'm trying to hand him the phone or the camera so that i can try to get down and i ended up sliding down um so this part of it is very flat to get to the to get to the creek um and in the in the video here in just a minute i walk to the actual creek and i look over and i can see support with Stefa and Frank Meister. And I'm just going to fast forward a little bit. So this is the bank where they were talking about where it's steep to get up. But that's too it's, far down. It's too far away from the south end of the bridge. Yeah, but there they are. Um, there we are right there. Over here where they were, it's flatter. Yeah. And that's probably due to over the years the river is is uh washing away the banks and getting further though if that means the river's gonna get wider and wider. I would imagine yeah. that place is so flooded this is, constantly. This is where they were on the other side where the girls were found. Hallow ground, hallow ground. Yeah, Wyoming that. Adventures. Um, this is called the Memorial Walk of 2022. Um, take, go ahead and take a look at the the whole video. There's a lot of footage and pictures of this area that I that we took, um, and you're you're welcome to look at it and and putting it on your big TV really does help. And then, so you can see me standing there, yeah, yeah. 
trying to find so this is the area where underneath the bridge and where the person would have been is right about here in the picture you can see these beams but where he was there's no beam there except for on the other side of the bridge Yeah, so they would have been sitting right here in this area. And that's not an easy task to get down there either, because I, I did it. No. <laughs> I stepped on that bridge, took two steps, said, F you, somebody else can do this. <laughs> <laughs> but... I said, I'll go with Steph through the woods. How's that? Yeah. She had a red well, coat then, on. She had a red coat on looking like a little red riding hood with a big bad wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, guys. <laughs> oh, it's not an easy place to walk. No, not by far. Um yeah. My legs, I actually went back on Sunday with the kids and got some footage and pictures, and my legs were shot. I don't know about you, support with Stefa, but I couldn't even go to the second platform again to get the picture. One of the kids had to do it. Well, I could not move. I mean, like, I hurt her. Uh, yeah. See, she ended up going back through the trail by herself, and me, Mike, <laughs> and that girl from Michigan ended up walking up the ravine, which is about a 45 to 50 degree oh. angle straight up, straight to the cemetery. I got that, too. And that sucked. <laughs> okay. And that's so this is... Okay. This is the area that you guys walked. Yeah, right in there somewhere. Well, yeah. Yeah. And you had a picture of the ravine somewhere. Yeah, it's up a little bit. There's the ravine. Right there. Yep. I can't believe you walked up that support with stuff up. That was a steep hill. There we go. That's a better picture. Yep. And right before you got to the well, actually, as soon as you cross over that ravine, is the property line. There was a fence was halfway down, and that's where we knew where we were at between the mirrors and uh, Logan property. And yep. it was it was just so eerie because uh, I think me and Stefan talked about it. But once we crossed over that fence line, it felt like a ghost was grabbing my hand and leading me right to where they were at. And that's when I knew the girls' presence was there. It was an eerie feeling. It was. Okay, I'm going to stop this because this is where we start chatting. But, but I'm going to bed, ladies. I'm old. <laughs> You're old. Thank you for coming on. <laughs> No problem. Anytime. Anytime you need anything, Steph, just let us know. Yep. Good night. Good night, Frank. All right, Steph, I'm going to give you your channel back. Um, I got to go pick up one of the kids from work here shortly. And, um, but you need to start dropping your own link in our channel that we can get you some more subscribers. Are you there? Uh oh. Staff, are I you there? I was on mute. Oh. I, on mute. I feel okay. bad dropping my own link in your chat. <laughs> oh no, no, no. We're gonna help 
we're going to help promote you. So, um, Fred and I already talked about it. So, yes, definitely start dropping it. Don't well, feel I, bad. TNLFT make me drop my own link too. So, it's not. <laughs> Well, thank you, Marvelous Investigates. You have been wonderful, and um, I appreciate you coming up and uh, go take care of Mark. <laughs> I will. Thank you. Know. You too. Okay. And oh, and can you get me a couple of links? Can you get me anybody who has a channel on here that's on your live now? Can you get me their links so I can yeah. subscribe? I Thank yes. you. Yes, no and problem. I will be subscribing to you. I definitely okay, will. Be. Yes. All right. Have a good night. All right. Thank you, you too. Okay. All right. Y'all want to see the with the um. Well, what are your thoughts before I do that, TCA? Say that again. I was any, muted. Oh, you're fine. I said, do you have any uh, thoughts about um, what you saw? I don't know if you could see too much. Or... It was hard for me to see, uh, but I'm going to go back and rewatch it. My internet's now working, so oh, good. Um, good I'll go back and rewatch it. Uh, very interesting, though. Yes, agreed. Very. Where did Allie go? Uh, she's in the chat. Oh, okay. I'm trying to get yeah. the stuff from the... Um, okay, so I'm going to try to show stuff from my... When I was there, I want to see if... How much... Well, y'all... Okay. I'm going to share where where I got down by where the girls' bodies were found. Okay. And kind of give you the, here the rushing river where, because remember this day was like it was the day that the girls' bodies were found. Yeah. Oh, oh I'm sorry, Alex, come back. I, I didn't even know. <laughs> we're back there. Hi, <laughs> Lynn. Um... I didn't even know. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm going to share my screen so you guys can see. This is um, a few weeks back. We went down to um, when we were at Delphi, we went where the girls' bodies were found. Um, it is very hard to get to a treacherous terrain. Um, you can see a little bit in the, the, um, the coverage that they showed. Um, but it doesn't do it do it justice. I don't know how I made it up and down that. Like, I that's why we always joke around Frank being my boyfriend because he had to like help me get up and down that. It was so steep. Okay, so let me share. You can hear me kind of um, doing commentary in the um, background. So because I was on my phone talking, so I apologize if it sounds weird. If I sound weird. Okay. Well, y'all, I did. <laughs> These great guys, Trent Meister, I owe you my life. This is not easy to do. You went came down that ravine there. Um, so we're getting very close to the crime scene. Um, very surreal. Very, very surreal. I always feel bad about videoing right now because we're all getting ahead and Here's the water. It's pretty emotional. So I will definitely film when I get there, which we're almost there. Hold on.
And here is right at the edge where the girls' bodies were found. And this is why I was saying I don't see how it's possible they crossed that water. So I'm not convinced anymore that they ever crossed the water. But I will show you. And I hope you can hear and see what I saw and heard. So we are here at the crime scene. I mean, when I say crime scene, meaning where the girls came up, um, would have been right about here in the water. It's very surreal. Um, there is usually like a little area that has more platform, but the water is high. So the girls would have been in this down in this area there are some trees right here i'm not sure here's the tree that gray would found on his um this one yeah yeah, yeah. that gray how he um saw from when the rescuers were searching the water um and they say it's about 50 feet in. This is the, um, it's like a lot of pushed, I'm trying to see if I can kind of make it, it's like grassy, but it's long, but it's pushed down from the winter. Um, it's about 30 degrees here today. And there's like some long water, or. Um, trees, which I never knew about. Um, it almost makes where those trees are. It almost makes me wonder when they say the girls bought or one of the girls was propped up. It almost makes me wonder if um, that's like those trees were where they were propped. If they were, if this is even the crime scene, I, I question everything now. Like. Uh, I just don't see how that, with that terrain, um, if they were ever, if they even died on the 13th, I question everything now um, after being there. So, um, but I'll keep playing. I'm all, it's almost done. I'm seeing the grassy area and here's a tree that they could have been propped up on. Um, there's actually several trees, but here is about 50 feet in. And it goes, I'm going to kind of do a ceramic view because there is no crime scene up anymore like there used to be. Um, crime scene tape is what I meant. But here we are. Um, wow. I just wanted you guys to see um i don't know if you can see the private drive from here it is we get a little bit closer down to the water and i think we might see yep i can see it but i don't know if you guys can see the private drive it is right about well, my fingers might come out here You can see it's flurring a little bit. So, there's a private drive that goes through. able to obviously come on the private drive because it is private property so we came through a ravine um so steep going up i got down not sure how i'm gonna get back up got my walking stick but okay so what do you think allison I think you're on mute though.
Oh, Lynn, it was my, I, that, that was the second time I went, but that was the first time I'd been there during the season when the girls were, um, if the, when the girl, what was the weather was like, it was the day the girls were there, but I guess we're going back next month. Um, if anybody wants to go, I think it's going to be maybe the last weekend in May or something like that, um, for another memorial walk. And I guess I lost Allison. So, but, um, something else that happened, what, what I had brought my sister-in-law along with me Well, she's my ex-sister-in-law. I call her my sister now. She had just had her hysterectomy like three weeks prior. So I, I dragged her out in the freezing cold, um, to go with me and she, um, doesn't know anyone. And I take her to the Delphi trails. And then I said, sis, I'm about to just leave you because I want to go down and try to find out where the girl's bodies were found. And she's like, I can't go. I just had a hysterectomy. I'm like, I know you'll be just fine. This is marvelous Marvin and she'll stay with you. <laughs> and so she's like, okay, well, marvelous Marvin ended up going across the bridge. So she hung out with some other people that she met. So we go down and, um, as you saw Frank Meister and, um, a couple other people and she, I, all I could think about was I got to get back to my sister. She doesn't know anyone. Right. So they want to go up the ravine and into the cemetery because that's where we've kind of, people have always speculated. That's where the, um, the quote, quote killer, which I don't believe there's a one, just one killer now. Um, but that's how he left was through the cemetery. So I'm like, I can't, I can't go with you guys to the cemetery. I have to get back to the trail because I have my sister here who knows no one. And we're on Delphi, Delphi trail where the girls, you know, were kidnapped. And so, um, I end up walking back by myself in the woods at Delphi and they're all going to the cemetery. I'm like, in the name of Jesus, please let me live. Let, please let me live. So I get to the trail. They're all gone. Um, thank you, Lynn. I appreciate that. So I get to the trail. I'm by myself. So now I'm walking the trail in Delphi by myself. And I'm alone. And I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, what if bridge guy is here? Like, I am by myself and there's no one around and no one's going to hear me scream. And I started my sister. I called her, but of course she had left her phone in my car and we live in Ohio. We aren't from Indiana. So we're like five out, almost five hours away. And we're, uh, I got, I finally got a signal and Randy Gravit had said, Hey, when you get back, we're going to all head over to um, crap, uh, the Golden Corral. And I'm like, dude, I'm trying to just live. Does that, does, do you have my sister? <laughs> like, I hope she's okay. And so, yeah, that was the scariest thing. I never thought I'd be walking on the Delphi Trail alone. But yeah, I did. So anyway, um, it was, it was scary. Um, but it was something I can say for the rest of my life that I did it. So. But uh, let me read your uh, the comments. Is she there? Is who there? Why do you think police haven't made any moves yet as far as Keegan? Um, because I think Keegan, I'm not sure Ke Keegan is directly involved. Um, he may be. But Keegan is definitely in trouble for kitty porn and he's going to be gone away for a long time. And I think what they're trying to get from Keegan is him to turn on, uh, people connected to the crime. Um, he was communicating with them and I think having pictures sent as he was other girls, um, inappropriate pictures. Um, and if you haven't listened to, the uh, murder sheets, it all is in there. Um, his interview with 
the investigators and that you find out about his dad, that his dad, the awful things his father has done, the awful disgusting things he has done. However, I'm not sure that he was the killer. And earlier, Alex had asked me uh, or asked about um, something. And Marvelous Marvin says, we think that that um, someone had cloned his phone. For those of you that are may not be too deep into the case. OK. Um, once uh, Tony Klein, Lynn is. Keegan Klein's father, and he is just as sick as his son, in my in my opinion. I think he's involved, but I don't know. I don't think he was a killer, or he might be. I don't know, but I think he's just a sick person that isn't into kitty porn and gross stuff. Okay, so there is a guy named Julian Powell, and those of you that have got maybe like kind of deep into it, Julian Powell had done some interviews. Um, and had placed himself at the crime scene. Um, but he didn't place himself at the crime scene until like six months ago. Um, and he said, first of all, he worked for Subaru, um, which is near Delphi. He lives near, near there. And he called in to work that day. And he said he went there that day. And he went there to take pictures. He said he saw the girls, but he stayed away from them because he said he was afraid that um, they might be afraid of him being a male out there alone, which I think was really weird, right? Um, but he speaks, I think um, he has, I don't know if it's on his Twitter or something, this Julian Powell, speaks like um in arabic and and some of his videos which people don't i guess it's weird some of the things that he says or whatever so he's and he's brilliantly smart and he's very good with computers so people think that julian powell had taken over keegan's phone that day and cloned it because he's he knows how to do that kind of stuff um because as you guys know, Keegan had um, contact with Abby that or Libby that day and said, and he admitted in his interviews with investigators that he um, had told Libby that he would meet her that day. It does not say that he said he'd meet her at, you know, necessarily a time or place, but he did admit that he was he didn't admit it right away first he denied it and then he admitted that he did tell libby that he would meet her that day so people are saying that julian powell may have taken over uh keegan's phone so but as i don't know if you guys were on here but frank was saying julian powell um was related to Keegan's neighbor and who was also into the disgusting things that um, Keegan was into and his father. Um, let's see. TikTok guy matches voice. And so it's, it's, there's, I think there's a lot um, there of people involved. I think it's more than just a bridge guy, which is what we all assumed for so long up until we found out when police came on on a, on a Monday night at 10 p.m. and said, if you've heard of if you've ever had contact with the Anthony Schatz account, please contact us. And that was totally new because the police from the beginning said this had nothing to do with social media. This was not a catfishing situation. And really that wasn't the truth. That's not exactly what it was. Well, could be was a um, situation. I've sent two links below regarding Delphi. Okay, Lynn, I will take a look at those. Um, 
And I also think that this might be such a huge, um, a, a huge bust in chi uh, CP, child, you know, um, that they, I don't think they ever expected that, in my opinion. I think that that might be part of this as well. Um, and what would be a motive through though for many people to do this and cover it up um i don't think that necessarily i guess i need to clarify what you meant by cover up um if are you talking about like law enforcement i do know that there are um like one of the judges in carroll county carroll county is the county of delphi um was in trouble for uh human trafficking there's um, one of their officers um, was in trouble for human or having child CP. So there's like, um, if you can, I learned all about all kinds of crimes that have happened with their um, officers and higher ups in Carroll County by watching a video. Let me pull the video up. It's Anthony Greeno's, which whether you like him or not, this video is good. Um, and it's the Flora fires, and it talks about the fires where the four girls were died. Like I think it was four months before um, the Delphi girls were killed. Flora is like the next city over, or the next little town over. Um, but in that video, he goes through all the corruption of all of the high ups. It goes into the fire department, their, um, their government and law enforcement. No, I mean, what would be a motive for people to do something like this and have to hide it very risky? Um, yes, Ali, I believe it's a snuff film in my opinion, in my opinion. And I think that's why Amp in my opinion, what makes sense to me is that, um, if you remember, like right after the crimes, Keegan went to Las Vegas and he told law enforcement um, and during those interrogations that he, now this is me speculating. I don't, you know, I'm not, I don't have privy to any information. I'm just saying this is my speculation. Um, he told law enforcement he went to Vegas um, because he got, a he was going to work um selling marijuana out there because you know it's legal um in my opinion i wonder if he went out there to sell the film it i'm just speculating i don't know that but he went there right after the murders he and his father so but yes i i wonder if it was a film but i am going to put the flora fires in here and you can just fast forward to the part where it tells you all of the corruption in Carroll County. Anthony Greeno Flora. Anthony Greeno is right now he is in jail. <laughs> so his channel is not going. Um however he totally y'all his video is really good. So, um, and I, as far as being able to show you guys, um, the corruption, cause I, I would never be able to tell you all the corruption, but there was, or is a lot. Okay, let me see. Again, no substance are really dragged out, torture, and they take and keep for a while and hit. Oh, they are not killers. They are owners and sellers. Yeah, I don't think that, that Anthony Schatz is a killer, but I think he's a sick individual and so is his father 
Well, we know he is. Um, because you can read, if you haven't watched the, um, the podcast on YouTube by the, by murder sheets, they're the ones that got a hold of the, um, interview, the real interview with law enforcement with, with Keegan. And it talks about him and then people, his stepsister, and his stepbrother talk about the torture they went through from Tony Klein, which is Keegan's dad. This is all alleged. Exactly. This is just my opinion or thoughts. Let's just call it thoughts because I change my thoughts about Delphi all the time. Um, before I went to um, Delphi, I thought, a totally different thing than I think now. And next week I might think something else. It changes a lot depending on the information that I receive. So, and that I hear about again, that's information that we're learning on social media. So law enforcement has the real information. We don't. So, you know, it's all alleged. Thank you, Lynn, for clarifying that. Eh. Anybody have any other questions? It's just me, isn't it? It says there's one person in chat. Is anybody even here anymore? Or am I just talking to myself? Wyoming Ventures is here. Okay. Lynn is here. Okay, so there's three of us. I wonder why it says we have one person in chat. That's so weird. Now it says 12. Broken Justice is here. Alex is here. That is so weird. Okay. Okay. Do you guys have um, other questions I can answer? I know it's late. Oh, sure. All cases. I would think because it is the information and rumors and people inserted, that is where you dig through and find. Yes. And you know, who's like, um, that's why I really trust, um, Marvelous investigates as well as Frank, because I mean, they dig and Frank really digs. Um, I think he, he's retired and he gets help from the Steve guy. And Steve is like brilliant because he has all of these things that the lay person doesn't know about. Like I told you about the pictures and how he's able to um, give us things that he won't give out stuff that he thinks would um, compromise the case. But he will say things like or explain why law enforcement like would, would have manipulated that um, picture. Because maybe they, well, they didn't want them to see the gun because they wanted possibly a, um, nobody knew that if, if everybody knew that there was a gun, then the killer, anybody could come in and say, oh, I'm the killer and I used a gun. So that could be a reason they have, and they have all the details that we don't know, so. Um, chat as well for our opinion. Good job with the information. A lot of this is new and I like hearing people's thoughts on it. I wish I could say that it was me that got the information. I'm just reporting what I've heard. <laughs> so, and then take my own thoughts about it. Um, of what I've heard, you know, like I said, um, like me saying that the girl's couldn't have gone through the river. I don't know that. I mean, they may have, maybe they had a journal and I'm just saying from when I was there and as cold as it was, I can't imagine them going through that rushing water. What is, and that's how it would have been that day. Going through that water. I just can't see it. And I can't imagine the killer being soaking wet, murdering girls, two girls, and then trying to go up that ravine. I just don't. And I don't know if y'all know this. Okay, this is another thing I learned. When, so they searched for the girls on the 13th, right? 
they had people. So the search was officially stopped at midnight, right? And at 3 a.m., people, not everybody left. People, Some people stayed um, because they weren't giving up on leaving. So at 3 a.m., they heard a blood cur uh, curling scream, and it wasn't from an animal. Um, it was reported by several people, and they called into 911, and nothing was happened. That was end of it. Well, at 6 a.m., there was another scream. By that time, the light, it was becoming light. So there's speculation of where the girls really killed, like hurt somewhere else and brought in, because there were a bunch of ATVs, by the way, that night coming and looking for the girls. So were they hurt somewhere else and brought back, brought to the crime scene and that was um abby maybe because abby they say abby lived longer supposedly <gasps> it's 11 11 make a wish okay amen okay so it makes you think oh it was 4 a.m oh oh you were up at 4 a.m like you know because i thought it was 3 a.m okay so they could have put them there and then at 6 a.m abby saw libby's body and screamed when the sun was coming up. I don't know. This is true. This is speculation. This is just more information that I found out that I didn't know. But I just thought I'd share that. It was more information that I found out that I didn't know from people that actually um, live there in Delphi. So that's why I also like on um, Marvelous Marvin's channel. She has Randy Gravit up there. Randy Gravit has his own channel too. And I'm, I'll give you... Let me put his information in here, but he'll go up on there and they'll ask him questions a lot. Andy, grab it. But he lives in Delphi. He's like the Delphi, the Delphi um, master. He knows everything Delphi, like history and he knows everybody there. Let me pull his channel up. Was it true that someone took a pic of the girls from the bridge? So I, I don't know if it's true or not. Like, um, I love you too, Alex. I'm exhausted too. I'm getting ready to go off. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I can't, I, I don't know. I just don't. Some, when I first saw it, I'm like, this has got to be some kind of joke. I mean, not a joke, but like, Somebody trying to, you know, just get attention, yada, yada, yada. But then I'm like, is that possible? It's possible. Is it probable? Probably not. But I'm not going to say it's not because I wasn't there, you know? It's like, that's the stuff that makes me, this case makes me crazy. And that's like yesterday I had to go to Watts Island to get a break from Delphi because it will make you crazy. Love you, Alex. Um, it was great having you on. Thank you so much. Um, so let's see. I don't know if you guys know about this, but sometimes people who are in a coma have a good moment and they wake up, try to make something clear to someone, get some strength. And then suddenly, you know, that's true, Lynn. That's true. Thank you guys so much, TCA. This is actually TCA's um, broadcast. I feel like it got taken over because we end up on my channel and I'm so sorry. I feel bad. Um, but here we are. So maybe we'll do it another day on TCA's when her internet is working. And then I'm also going to do a um, Delphi live here shortly. 
And also, my channel, I don't know if y'all know, but my channel is to also to help um, people that struggle with mental illness. Um, my daughter grew up, um, started at age eight, where she was having depression. And so we talk about getting your kids your get help when their kids are young so they don't end up hurting other people or themselves. Um, so I need to do a live about her as well. Mandy, you're not blocked. Girl, you know I wouldn't unblock you. I can't, I've been coming to your channel saying hi, and you never say how about hello back. I'm so glad you're here. Um, so anyway, so I plan on doing that as well. So, um, because I haven't done any content, um, of my own in a while. And there's a reason for that, but yeah. So those of you that, um, you're talking to yourself, like it wasn't coming up. This is my Mandy C, right? Mandy C. My main account is blocked. Oh, that's weird. That's so weird. Oh, you're, how do I, I don't even know how to block somebody. <laughs> Cause I'm, I don't know how to do that. How do I do it, Mandy? Where do I go to, to block somebody or unblock somebody? I don't know how to do that. And how would you be blocked if I don't even know how to block somebody? Oh, I like, so Mandy said, put, check your block list, but how do I get to it is what I'm saying. Tell me how to get to my block list. Can you tell me where I go though? Okay, so I go to, do I go to studio or regular YouTube? Manage my account. I was saying how Libby tried. Yes, Libby took the brunt of, of, of it. Go to settings on YouTube. Okay. I'm trying to figure it out. Yes, Mandy, that's true. And I'm, I'm a little concerned. What could some, would it, would it be a mod that could put somebody on a block list? I usually a murderer will do that if someone's interfering or doing things aren't going as planned. That's definitely a possibility. So a mod can do that, huh? Man, I didn't want to have to do that thing where you have to make everybody unmod everybody. Okay, so I'm at my channel. Okay. Um, where the hell settings? I'm looking. Mandy, I'll do it after because I, I have to probably Google to figure out how to do this because I don't even see settings um, unless I do to go to like, oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, I'm at settings. Add or remove managers, your channel. Go under mods and look for block. Wait. Go under the mods and look for block. Add or remove managers? No. You do not have access to this page. I don't have access to my own page. Okay, here we go. Manage permissions. Oh, because I know why it's on my old one. Okay, let me finish up finish up Delphi, then I'll go in there and fix that. Okay, Mandy, I did not know I can um, 
I guess I'll have to demod everybody and then remod them every time I go in here. Okay. I know that Alex has to do that too or something. But I will definitely remove that because I love you and I would never block you. Um, anyway, so... Um, oh, back to my real... My channel is also about parents that um, to help families that have kids if they have issues behaviorally that there might be something going on most likely um, with with depression or something some kind of it could be mental illness it could be anything I'll show you blocked users it'll show okay um, and I want, we, we need to support our kids and, and get them help so they don't end up in trouble. Um, so my daughter that had, that's how my channel was even started is because my daughter um, wanted to, she's an adult now and she wanted to help other families. And that's how we got involved in um, starting a channel. Well, she and I do love true crime. And so it's kind of spun off in another direction too because she loves my daughter is an inspiration mandy yes that's why um i appreciate you so much because you um have always been good to my daughter and i um and when we went to delphi you had a you had me on and you never judged because of my daughter's issues and i appreciate that um but my daughter is doing amazing She's, I mean, she is, takes care of herself and goes, she schedules her own appointment. She takes her medication, but it took years of getting her help for that to happen. My daughter is doing amazing, Lynn. Thank you so much. Um, she is, I, I could not, if 10 years ago, if you would have told me it would be like this, I would never would have believed anybody, <laughs> but she is doing I, amazing. She's actually helping me because I've been sick. So she's doing great. Um, so anyway, I'm going to end the live and I'm going to go fix whatever happened, Mandy. Um, and you all have a wonderful night and you are, I just want you all to know I'm very grateful for y'all. And thank you for putting up for all of the issues we had tonight. Um, <laughs> with all of the uh, technical problems and um, she was not misdiagnosed, Lynn. Are you talking about the, with the heart issue? Because she has mental health issues and then she also has type 1 diabetes that affected her heart. But in, I don't know, was it February? I think it was February. She ended up with, um, they found a medication for her. So like we've been told that she was going to probably not live it past 10 more years. And that was when she was 18. And now there's a medication um, that came out last year that she's going to live a normal, long, healthy life as long as she takes care of her diabetes. So um, I can't tell God how blessed I am that this has happened because we never thought she just assumed that this she was never going to have a life. She'd never get married, never have children. And now here we are. She can have a life. So um, it's, she's a blessing. Thank you, Mandy. I appreciate that. I tried I tried my best to be a good mom. Um, she is my everything. She really is. Okay, y'all. You have a great night. Thank you so much for coming and putting up with all of the problems. But you guys are great. Talk to you soon. Love y'all.